and welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. This is Josh. Hi. And here we have with us David Vindistol. Oh, good. Well, he is a. Was that good? Yeah, it's nice. All right, yeah. cool. He is a uh, RC and FPV pilot pioneer. So like an RC FPV PP. So uh, and with us we have the uh, tricopter that we're going to be talking about, which is your main platform, isn't it, David? Yes, it is. It and is. you put this together yourself. Yeah, from. Wood and glass fiber. From trees and glass fiber. Why don't you take a, a chance to explain what it is? Because this is kind of a new thing coming into the RC field. I know it's been around for a while, but it's really getting mainstream now, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting accessible, the electronics and everything. Uh, the main thing it is, it's just more rotors. It's like a helicopter type, but it flies more like a plane helicopter. It's really hard to explain because it's uh, so different from a helicopter, but... Ba basically, I think what he's talking about, if any of you guys out there, um, I was trying to think about how to describe how it feels to fly. And if any of you guys have ever seen a 90 size uh, helicopter fly, the disc area is so big, it, it's very stable, I guess, when you put it in the banks. This is much the same, since you're moving your, your uh, motors on the outer corners, it's very, very nice. It doesn't pivot in the center, it's not real touchy, but it's a very gentle, graceful flying. So it's uh, more stable. Yeah. It's much more stable, yeah. much more stable. A lot of people are used to seeing something called a quadcopter, which is obviously four motors. Um, yeah. What would be the benefits of this one? Uh, this one actually folds up to start with. You can actually fold the arms back. That is so very nice. It's nice for transport. Okay. You can fold it all the way back. And when you crash it, the arms just fold back. Then there's no damage, more or less. They take the inertia. I was originally yeah. wondering why you didn't actually put a screw in it. That's the reason why, is it just kind of can flop and bend and yeah, everything. Yeah, exactly. It saves it. It's just the props that break. Nice. Yeah, nice. Um, it's, a, it's quite as uh, stable as the quadcopter, but uh, instead of ha having counter-rotating props like the quad has to have, okay. you can use normal props on this one. And it's much, much cheaper. Nice. So nice. when you crash, and you're gonna crash. So you're gonna crash. Yeah. It's gonna happen. It does happen. Trust me. Yeah. You can buy this for a pack for two bucks at Hobby King. Nice. It's really nice. Nice, and, and I, I like what you've done here. This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. The, the tape. Yeah, it's for balance. For balancing it out. Exactly. You don't want vibrations on these things because they use gyros to compensate for to keep it stable. And gyros don't like vibrations. The more vibrations, the less stable it's going to be. Now, here's the ingenious part where a quadcopter, I believe, spools up or spools down two engines to get your yaw. Exactly. You don't have to worry about that. You got this ingenious thing in the back, which is really simple yeah. but real functional. It's a servo that actually pivots the motor in the back. Wow. Yeah, it's like it's simple, but it's also the drawback of the tricopter because it's more complicated to build than a quadcopter. Quadcopter is just an X. Well, here you have a servo that actually has to pivot something. So that's the drawback of the tricopter. You got a mechanical function doing it yeah. rather than an electronic function doing it. Exactly. Gotcha. Now, there's something awesome here, and, and I gotta say, it made the whole experience of flying a tricopter different when I put this thing on. Why don't you talk about this little beauty, because I know you have your hands on it. Yeah, it's a KK board. Okay. Uh, it's the electronic brain behind the tricopter. You could fly this with three, uh, four normal gyros, yes. but this is much, much more advanced and more stable, so it's gonna help you fly better. Much easier to set up too. Yeah, it is. It's just three pots and you just need four channels instead of having to mess around with different gains and uh, the different gyros everywhere and stuff. And guys, I can give you a personal testimony. The first tricopter I built had HK-401s, and I thought that thing was easy to fly. But after I put your KK board in mind, it was a whole different experience. Everything about the tricopter became easier, uh, more reliable, more stable. Um, it lifted off nice and square. It was just amazing. Yeah. So David, why'd you make it out of wood? Because Josh, I know that you have one that's not made out of wood. Yeah, yeah. I kind of went a little bit different on that one. Yeah. But yeah, why don't you talk about the wood? Yeah, wood is cheap, strong, and durable. It actually reduces vibrations, it absorbs the vibrations. And, but the main reason I went with it was durability. Because I know I'm gonna crash a lot. So I've seen the things you do. That's honesty. Honest. That's honesty. Yeah. Yeah. I like I crashed this at least 50 times, and it's still good. Now, flight times. I see you got real basic things. You got simple motors, simple speed controls, and a simple three-cell 2200 battery pack. Yeah. Um, what's the flight time on that? About 12 minutes, 12 to 40 minutes, but, uh, depending on how cold it is. Okay. Because I fly in the cold all the time. 
Uh, actually, the shortest one I got is eight minutes, pretty hard flying and in minus 20 degrees Celsius. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. How do you even keep warm in that? You don't. That, that's crazy. Yeah. Do you have gloves on or something? It's like frostbite in 30 and minutes. David, I built this one here. Oh, wow. And, uh, I wanted wow. to see what you thought about wow. it. Wow. We can talk about the differences between You're an artist. artist. You didn't even paint it. That oh, is, that's so sweet. Yeah, it's a work in progress. I haven't it's put the little, you know, the little now, target underneath. Now, how do you take the canopy off? Well, you just kind of break it on the side of the table and it'll Really? Is that how you off. do it? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it right now, though. Wrong. I'm not going to do it right now. Guys, he's trying to mess with you. That's my tricopter. Uh, basically, David was so gracious to get us the design early, and uh, I built one, had so much fun, crashed it, broke it, built another one, and this is what I ended up with. And uh, it's shiny and, and sparkly, but honestly, this one performs much better, and it's much more simple to build. But what I did do different is I went with the aluminum arms, roll lightweight, and uh, what are those, Chad? Uh, tower racks? They, yeah, they're towel rods. Towel rods? For and, uh, $2.69. For two bucks a piece. This is a half of an Easter egg, and uh, the whole thing unfolds just like David's you see here. Uh, it flies wonderfully. And I'm still working on some vibration issues because the, the aluminum It's not made out of wood. It's not made out of wood, yeah. The, the aluminum carries that vibration right back and uh, the, the camera is suffering a little bit. So yeah. David's right now is, is definitely um, the way to go. If you guys are gonna build one out there, start with this and then refine it later. Now David, I've been talking about this thing a lot, but the most amazing thing is seeing it in the air. Why don't we go ahead and uh, get out there and let people see what you can do with this thing. Yeah, sure. With the goggles on too, huh? Sure. Yeah, I can give you a ride even, if you want to. A ride on the tricopter? Nah, you Probably more than a kilo. I don't know what a kilo is, but I'm pretty are sure. Are you sure? Than... You look thin. Maybe not. Yeah, uh, you can <laughs> watch the picture while I fly. Gotcha, okay, yeah. FPV. Like that. That's all you had to say. All right, <laughs> yeah. let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. Let's get this Josh, you want to take yours out there? Yeah, I'll take mine out. This okay, one your Easter egg? Yeah, My Easter egg. Here you go. All right, let's go. All right. Chad, you all set up? I, I'm ready. That's I got great. a uh, monitor out here so you, anybody else can see what's yeah, going on. Watch. And here you have the extra pair of goggles, yeah. so you can go for a ride. These make me sick, though. So, really? Yeah. Well, don't worry, we'll sit you down in the chair. Okay. You'll be okay. You, you can watch the monitor. I'll watch <laughs> the monitor. You want these? Yeah, that sounds okay. cool. And actually, I have a fast a, shark. We have a wireless uh, link, too. This is cool. Between the... Uh, the ground station and the goggles. So, okay. So what frequency is your ground station working on? Uh, there's uh, from the tricopter down to the ground station is 1.3 gigahertz. Okay. And from the ground station to the goggles is 5.8. Exactly. That yeah. is really, really cool, man. A little fun fact for you guys. David's from Sweden. So yeah, that's I, where the accent comes I, from. All right, anyway. Like okay, let's, let's, let's get in the air. Let's go. All right. Are ready Going for a ride. ride. Okay. This guy's cool if he's watching a movie. Yeah. Here's your pot. Look at this one. Want a snack? Yeah, I want a snack. Ready? Here we go. Thanks. Wow! Oh. There we are. That is awesome. Hey. Wow, it's drizzling. Yeah. So, what do you want me to do? Go check out the tower over there. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, David, with this uh, rain and everything you got going on, yeah. does that cut down your range? No, not really. A bit, it sure, but. Not as bad as the uh, 2.4 stuff. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, it's windy. You got a lot of wind up there, brother. Yeah, it's like sideways. Well, obviously the light is flashing. You know, I can see a lot of applications, like the uh, telephone companies using these things for inspections and everything. Yeah. Do you see that where uh, multi-rotor platforms Makes are gonna go? Indeed, really. That's really cool. You are really close to that thing. There we go. Wow. It's so windy, so it's kind of hard to Doing a great job, man. Don't hit it. Ah, uh, good enough. Uh, coming back. Coming back. Oh, that's a that's a experience there. Oh, it's a car there. Check that yeah. out. Hit it. It's a truck. Just freak him out. Chase scene. Yeah, that is neat. <laughs> <laughs> Can I land on it? Go around him. Look in the window. Let's see who's driving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, that's amazing. You are an amazing pilot, my friend. Thank you. Now, how many hours do you think you have total uh, doing this? I have no idea. Maybe uh, like at least four. At least four hours? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Uh, I think more like four years. It's not hard once you get used to it. It is when you turn into the wind, huh? Oh, that's a boom. That's a boom. Oh, wow, you're wow. Nice. wow. There you go. <laughs> 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 
Any other challenges? Uh, I uh, think wait, how about the swing set? Okay. I think I think Chad wants to see you know how durable this thing is. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, crash Dang assessment it. time. Yeah, let's assess the damage. All right. Yeah. Now we're the seeing. image. Uh, just a little nick on oh, okay. on this, and the arm was pushed back like that. But, but that's what it's yeah. supposed to do. Yep. That's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're great. Great job, David. Yeah, yeah thanks. Good job. Yeah, I can still fly it. It's still good. Not only uh, flies great, takes great video, but it takes a hit good too. Yeah. So everything you said it would do. Yes. Well, very cool. Man, you did an amazing job. Thank you for telling us about this, showing us. I imagine there's going to be a lot of track hoppers flying because of you. No, so. Thank you. Well, yeah. Very cool. Thanks for coming on the show, Dave. Yeah, yeah thanks. All right, well, thanks everybody for watching, and thanks Hobby King for sponsoring this episode. And let's go do some more flying. Let's do it. All, All right, right, let's go. Thanks.